Hi, my name is Amit. I'm here with Helen. We're doing the second trimester classes. We're doing a 20 minutes class now uh, that is going to start on all fours with many variations. So Helen, when you're ready, please join me here on all fours. And we're going to start with breathing as we always do. So make yourself comfortable and take a deep breath into your tummy. The baby can drop down towards the floor. And as you exhale, draw the abdominals in and up. Baby coming back to spine. Deep breath in to let go of the abdominals. And exhale to draw them in and up in the body. One more time. Deepest breath in into the abdominals. And exhale to lift them back into the body. Keeping the abs engaged a little bit, we're going to hinge back. And Helen, I think you would be more comfortable with the knees a little bit wider apart, but try it. Okay, so just hinge back without doing anything special. Just go as far back as you feel comfortable and then come forward. Now again, you can keep on going, Helen. Depending on the size of your bump, okay, and your body structure, you may want to open the knees a little bit wider or not, as you feel comfortable, but just go ahead and sit back and come forward. And once more, just sit back and come forward and we stay forward. Now flex the feet and point and flex, tucking the toes under and point and relax. A little quicker we go, flex and point and flex point and flex, keep the breath going, keep the upper body stable, let's do three and two and one and last. Now we're going to hinge back but look between the knees. So just hinge back and look between the knees and come forward and look forward at the wall in front of you and exhale to sit back and inhale to look forward. And you don't have to do anything special with the spine. Don't think cat. Just sit back and look between the knees. That's it. And just come forward and look forward. That's all. Let the spine do what it wants to do. Don't add anything. Just literally sitting back, looking between the knees, coming forward, looking forward. Sitting back, looking between the knees, coming forward, looking forward. Let's reverse it. So flex the feet. Keep looking forward and inhale to sit back. Exhale to come forward as you look between the knees. Inhale to sit back. Exhale to come forward, look between the knees. So the head moves as you move. The head moves with the spine, and the head moves with the spine, and the head moves with the spine, and with the spine. One more. Sit back. And forward and relax your toes and just sit back one more time just to feel the difference and come forward and when you come to a high kneeling position make yourself comfortable in the high kneeling position and just roll the shoulders back a couple of times and relax the wrists a couple of times just circling okay now let's do a few light bulbs rolling in Rolling out, rolling in, rolling out, rolling in, rolling out. Now, let's flex the wrists as we bring them forward and down as we go down. Flex to go forward and extend to go down. Flex to come forward and stay there and now reach the arms out and feel the stretch. Hands down, arms down. Flex the wrist to come forward. Open and stretch. Draw and lift the abdominals. Hands down, arms down. And one more forward flex. Open and stretch. Take a deep breath in. Hands down. Great. We're going to come back on all fours and mobilize the spine more. So we start with what we call cat and cow. It's a pre-pilatus exercise. We exhale to round the spine. And inhale to reverse the curve all the way. And exhale round. And inhale, reverse the curve. Couple more times, round. Reverse the curve and draw and lift the abdominals into the spine. 
and back to center. Now we do tail wags. So look to your right and see if you can find your tail. So you move your pelvis to find your tail and back to center. And look to the left and see if you can find your tail back to center. You can look at the screen if you're not sure what we're doing. We actually move the pelvis and try to find the tail back to center. We move the pelvis over to the other side trying to find the tail back to center. And there's a good chance that one side feels much more tight or weird than the other side because often the baby sits more on one side. And it's defi it definitely usually sits in an imbalanced way. Let's make sure we finish both sides. And then we do the seaweed ribs. So we just start moving the pelvis and the spine in big circles. That's it. And we allow the head to just do whatever it wants to do, which naturally just moves around with the spine. So you can do about four or five going in one direction and then four or five in the other direction. It's a deep breath and you lift the pelvic floor and lift the abdominals as you do that. Okay, and then stop, take a breath and lift yourself up to a high kneeling position so we can put it all together, the movement of the spine and the stability and we're going to do like a hug. So imagine there's a big ball here and you're going to tuck and hug that ball. That's it. And then lift yourself up. Reach the arms down and behind you and look a little upwards. And then round. The tail comes between the legs. And lift. Opening the chest. And again, the tail comes between the legs. And hug the ball. And open. And stretch. And one more. Tail between the legs. And hug. And take a moment and a breath to open and stretch and relax. All good? Excellent. We're going to lie on the side now and do some leg exercises. So please lie on one side. Good. We're going to start with the clams. I'm going to get the little oops out of the way. Make yourself comfortable on your side. The knees are bent. Let's bring the feet a little forward. And take one deep abdominal breathing, just to position yourself there. Deep breath into the tummy, and as you exhale, lift the abdominals into the body, and if you can, the waist will come away from the ground, so you're working your side. Now we do the clams or the oysters. Rotate the leg, and bring it down. Now when you rotate the leg, feel the weight of the right foot on the left foot, and bring it down. Rotate and feel the weight. By feeling the weight, you can really access the rotators. Otherwise, you can work the hip flexors a lot. You can work the gluteals a lot. If this is not comfortable, please don't do that. Now, let's do another variation. The feet are just off the ground, holding together, and rotate. And down, and rotate and down and rotate and down two more up and down last one up and down and relax everything down take a deep breath and stretch the right leg out make sure the leg is in line with you not behind you never behind you we take the leg up and down and up and down. Never is a strong word, but I mean when you go up and down with the leg, it should be in control. If the leg is behind you, there's a good chance you're going to strain your lower back, which already takes a lot of strain. So we keep the leg in line with the body and in line with the abdominal views. Up and down. Let's flex the foot. Take it forward, let's say 20 degrees. Lift up and down and back. Flex forward. Up down, point to go, back, flex, forward. So stay there for a second and flex as much as you can so you get a good stretch in your calf. Lift, lower and down. And you might be going, ooh, this is tight. 
The calves get really tight during pregnancy because of all the added weight and the lean forward of the weight of the body. Okay, so let's do one more and flex as much as you can. And reach and lift and lower and just relax down. Okay, good. Come up to a seated position. Put the legs still on your right in whatever position you're comfortable. That's it. Lift the left arm up and go ahead and stretch over to the side. Now stay there for a sec and make sure that you lift your weight up, you lift the abdominals up and you breathe into your side. Support yourself with your right hand on the floor, okay, or maybe the right hand on the right leg. Wherever you're most comfortable, support yourself, make sure you lift the abdominals, you stretch your side, you breathe into your side. And then, let's put this left hand on the floor. Good. Lean a little bit of weight into it, so there's a little bit of work here at your side, and reach the right arm up, and just reach it away. That's it. So you breathe into the other side. Once again, you draw and lift the abdominals. Feel the strength of the left arm and left side. And then use the abdominals to recover back to center. And we're going to take the legs over to the other side to do the sequence. Clams with the legs down, clams with the feet up, and the straight leg variations. Okay, one deep abdominal breathing to feel your position, to feel the difference between the one side and the other side. See if on this side you can have your waist lifted from the ground, and when you're ready, rotate the leg and lower. Remember that when you rotate the leg, you want to feel the weight of the left foot on the right, trying to access the rotators of the leg and not the gluteals and not the front of the hip. And rotate. So you can visualize the movement happening at the back of the hip joint. And rotate. One more. And down. We lift the feet away from the ground and stabilize them there as you rotate and lower and rotate and feel the feet pressing together and down, feet pressing together and down and lift and hold Helen and when you press down see if you can work the inner thighs more. So press into my hand working the inner thighs and lift and press into the inner thighs. So I forgot to say it on the other side. Next time you do that class, remember to use the inner thighs when you press down. Last one, up. And press down, relax the legs. Take a deep breath. And when you're ready, stretch the leg out. And remember, it should be in line with your body and not behind. We go up and down and up and down. In line with the body and down. Why don't you put this hand on the hip and see that it's stable and lift and lower one more lift and lower now the calf stretch stretch come a little forward go up down point to go back flex take a moment to stretch keep the stretch keep the stretch keep the stretch point and go back stretch forward up down back two more Flex, up, down, and back. Last one, flex, up, down, point, and back. Great, let's relax the leg. And when you're ready, come up to a seated position to do the stretches both sides. Starting by going towards the legs. Do whatever you need to make yourself comfortable. Okay, no discomfort or weirdness in the pubic symphysis. Take the right arm up and stretch it over to the side. <clears throat> That's it. And exactly, support yourself with this hand. Breathe there. See if you can draw and lift the abdominals a little bit more. See if the right shoulder blade can be down. And see if you can breathe more into your right lung getting all this oxygen that your body needs now. 
And when you're ready, transition over to the other side. So you lean into the right arm, put it a little further away so there's a bit of weight bearing there, and then take the left arm up and over. That's it. The right side is working, the abdominals are lifting, and now you breathe into your left side. Every bit of air is good now. So take a deep breath into your side. And when you're ready, use the abdominals to recover back to center. Take a moment, and we're going to come up to standing very slowly. Make sure you don't feel lightheaded. And we're going to grab the chair and sit in the chair and do a little bit of work in the chair. We're going to open the legs into a slightly wider stance, wider than hip width. And we're going to do standing to sitting. Sounds simple, but not quite. So make sure you're comfortable in the chair and you're not right at the front of the chair. So you're somewhere in the middle. OK. Now, you're going to lean forward. And when you feel that you have shifted enough body weight forward, you're going to lift from the gluteals. Squeeze your bum and lift up to standing. Squeeze your bum as you sit back and look to find the chair. Make sure you sit in the chair, and if you're not sure, then don't do the exercise. Lean forward, and from your bottom, lift up. Stand tall, and as you sit back, feel your feet, feel your bottom, feel the pelvic floor. Find the chair, and sit into it. We're good? Yeah. Excellent. So let's come forward, and from the bottom, lift up, and sit. Back down, one more time if you can. Coming up, all the way, and sitting back down. And I'm going to grab a little ball to sit next to you. OK, we're going to, that's going to sink, probably, yes, making me look a bit like a midget. Let's put the feet together, put the fists between the knees. That's it. Sit tall and squeeze, engage the inner thighs and lift the abdominals, and release. Just twice more, squeeze on the fists, lift the pelvic floor, lift the abdominals, and release, and make sure that you're not arching the lower back, and squeeze, and release. That's great. Let's just do a little gluteal stretch to finish, so if you can cross one leg over the other. If you're not comfortable, please don't do it. Again, any weirdness around the pubic symphysis, don't. It's a big no-no, but if you are comfortable, then keep the back really straight and lean forward. You don't have to go far to find the stretch. Now let's lift the abdominals even here. And let's maybe reach the right arm out first. Good. Lift the abdominals, reach the left arm out. Oops, the ball is traveling. And place the right arm down, left arm down, and sit straight. And hinge forward and find a stretch in the right gluteals. Draw and lift the abdominals. And if you're really comfortable, reach the right arm out. Reach the left arm out, lifting the abdominals, still in the stretch. Bring the right arm down, left arm down, and sit back. And we're going to change the legs. And sit really tall. Lift the abdominals and hinge forward. Find the stretch and either just stay there or reach one arm, reach the other arm and hold and lift the abs. Bring one arm down, other arm down and sit back. And one last time we hinge forward, we find the stretch, reach the arm out and the other arm out. Bring the arm down, other arm down, sit back. Relax the legs. And on behalf of Helen, myself, and the balls that kept rolling around, thank you very much. And we hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you soon.